It's interesting because when we did our poll, uh, when was it? Friday morning? Friday morning, yes. yes. Friday morning. And that when we, we were asking people, what is the word that most springs to mind when you think of Liz Truss? The word that came up top was untrustworthy. And presume you can only presume that's because she appears to have flip-flopped and uh, changed her mind about things. So perhaps it isn't all sewn up. Mm. Well, that, that was a, a thing which some of the MPs who didn't back Liz Truss were saying to me uh, in, the, in the earlier months. Uh, well, she'll be cut, found out during a leadership campaign. She'll, she'll, she'll drop a gaffe. And that was the one thing I think uh, Rishi Sunak was pinning his hopes on, was that she would implode. Now, there was one moment where she, she made this pledge to have regional pay boards, mm. which would have meant massive pay cuts for teachers, police officers and other mm. public servants. But she made a very swift U-turn on that, which saved her skin in many ways. Well, she's also U-turned on the idea of handouts, what she calls handouts, doesn't she? She said there will be no handouts, and already she's thinking of an acceptable way to do it. Well, realistically, she has to do some yeah. handouts. And this VAT cut today, that will cost £3.2 billion, but it will knock... Uh, 1,300 pounds off the average outgoings for a uh, for, for a, a house and an average household in Britain. So I mean, what's she proposing? Is it cut off VAT on everything, or cut on VAT on fuel? Or what, what it way? seems to be? Well, there was a talk of a, of a five five percentage point cut on fuel, but now the word is it's going to be between two and a half percent and five percent across the board. So that would cut everything from. Uh, mm. Everything you buy, so and it would be, be fast, wouldn't it? It would be fast, and it would it would hit it would hit uh, everybody's pockets immediately. Yeah, I mean, she's still got a lot of work to. I mean, on the basis that she walks into number ten, which we're expecting now. I mean, she's got to hit the ground running on mm. this, hasn't she? There's no time to waste because if she's if she if she takes her time over anything to do with the cost of living crisis, she's going to be absolutely hung, drawn, and quartered. Well, there are multiple problems facing the next Prime Minister. We've got the war in Ukraine, we've got the unions are all yeah. restless, we have, uh, you know, rail strikes and so forth. We've also got, you know, cost of living, rocketing energy, not only the energy price, the crisis, the cost of energy, it's the supply of energy, which mm. is a big problem. All these things have got to be fixed and these are things which should have been fixed decades ago. Um, so not only has she got to look on the long term, but she's got to get some very quick hits. Don't forget there's also the, the migration crisis. There's mm. all these issues which nobody's been able to deal with and, and, and they've got to, she's got to find some results very quickly. If is, she she is she tough enough to do that? I mean, she comes across as being quite tough in many ways. Yes. I mean, uh, some, some of the older hands in Westminster have told me that uh, they remember Margaret Thatcher coming in and she was a, um, a screechy woman with a, with a cardigan on. Yeah. And uh, they, they made her over, she lowered her voice, and she showed she had a lot of metal in her. And uh, like her or loathe her, she won three elections and, uh, and, and tackled some of the problems, inflation being one of them, which we now face.